from JBS Studios in Greater New York. This is the JBS News Update with Tisha Bader. I'm Tisha Bader with a JBS News Feature Special. We begin with a panel on anti-Semitism taking place next week at the New School in New York City that is causing an uproar in the Jewish community because the panel features speakers known as vocal critics of Israel and Zionism, among them Palestinian-American activist Linda Sarsour and the executive director of Jewish Voice for Peace, Rebecca Vilkomerson, national director of the Anti-Defamation League, Jonathan Greenblatt, said the inclusion of Sarsour and JVP was like, quote, Oscar Mayer leading a panel on vegetarianism. Greenblatt wrote on his Twitter account last week that these panelists know the issue, referring there to anti-Semitism, but unfortunately from the perspective of fomenting it rather than fighting it. And the American Jewish Committee also tweeted that panels on anti-Semitism should feature those who fight it, not those who perpetuate it, calling the New School's decision outrageous. And a petition against the New School panel evening, which is set for November the 28th, has over 10,000 signatures at present. The New School has defended its choice of panelists, saying that, quote, there are differing views on the issue of anti-Semitism. And they invited critics of the panel to organize a separate event. The house where teen diarist Anne Frank and her family lived in before they went into hiding from the Nazis will not be turned into a museum, but rather continue to serve as a refuge for writers. The foundation that maintains the Anne Frank House in Amsterdam said they have now purchased the property where the Franks lived from 1934 to 1942 when they went into hiding in another part of Amsterdam. Spokeswoman for the foundation, Anne-Marie Becker, said it's important for the foundation that the home where Anne Frank lived in in the 1930s remains intact and is looked after in a proper way. The house has been lent to the Dutch Foundation for Literature since 2005, which uses it as a home for writers forced to flee their countries due to persecution. And the foundation said the home will continue to serve as a safe haven. And by the way, a new production of The Diary of Anne Frank is currently being performed at the Westport Community Theater in Westport, Connecticut. It is a newly adapted version of the play by Wendy Kesselman, and it runs through December the 10th. Acclaimed Jewish violinist Yitzhak Perlman is the focus of a new documentary. Yitzhak had its world premiere last month at the Hamptons International Film Festival, and this month was featured at Doc NYC, said to be the largest documentary film festival in the country. The film is directed by Alison Chernick, who recently told the senior editor of Women in Hollywood, Yitzhak Perlman personifies the resilience, vision, and contribution of the Jewish people. Through Perlman, she said, we hear stories of obstacles and survival while witnessing humor, talent, discipline, and drive. Chernick said the film follows the evolution of a musician while exploring Jewish history and culture. And that's our JBS News Feature Special. I'm Tisha Bader.